So, on the second travel trip of my gap year, I headed up the east coast of Australia for eight weeks. From crazy islands to long overnight buses to meeting the best people, I'm so honoured to take you guys along on the adventure. I went through the fun of packing my stuff away. This was a daily struggle with my 40 litre rucksack. We are all go, go, go this morning because we are checking out. I've been super productive. I have washed my hair. I am packing my stuff, even though it's really hard to pack into this bag. Went downstairs, got breakfast sorted, made avocado toast for me and Kerry for lunch, put it in the Tupperware, cleaned out my manky Tupperware, which still had the gross sandy pasta remnants in it. And it was all furry and brown, but I was like, nah, can't think about it. Don't have time, wash it out. So we have got a solid 15 minutes before we need to check out. We still need to get rid of the bed sheets, the pillowcases, the towels, clean the room a little bit and pack. So ordinarily, I'm such a punctual, even early person. But when I'm traveling, I don't know what it is. I'm just late or like rushing all the time. Might be like 10.05, but we did it. Put our bags in storage, um, got it closed. Honestly, the cutest thing ever. The guy at reception gave us a voucher each for a hot drink at their cafe. So I just had a hot chocolate. We were intending to do the Bondi to Kuji walk, only to find out that the hostel was doing a free tour that morning of the same thing. And we got Alba again, who we love. Best tour guide ever. I met two really nice Dutch girls. I also find it never really gets awkward on a walking tour because you can always talk about the side you're seeing. If you're not really getting on with someone, you can kind of just walk off and speak to someone else. It's just pretty easy in comparison to other social situations. And then we made it to Bondi Beach for about lunchtime. So it was kind of an hour and a half, two hour walk. And then Kerry and I headed off, got the train and went to Newtown, which is one of the other places we wanted to tick off in Sydney. And now we're heading to Newtown because it is our last day in Sydney. So we wanted to explore that district. It's meant to be really trendy, really cool. Loads of good vegan food, apparently. And we're gonna go for dinner, hop back to the hostel, get our bags, get our night bus. So guys, we're in the old west now which is ironic because it's called Newtown. It's really cute though. We walked around, got some irresistible vegan gelato. That's amazing. Had some deep chats and made flower art, of course. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God, it literally looks like a flower in your hair. Oh, that's so cute, Carrie. And then we headed to one of my favorite restaurants of the trip. Lentils as anything is a community-based restaurant. There are no prices on food. You just pay as much as you want to. You pay as much as you can afford. And if you can't afford to pay for the food, you can donate your time in volunteering. All the staff are volunteers. A lot of them are international and learning English. I love this place so much. What an amazing concept. Like you come in and you feel like it's a safe space. I forgot to say as well, it was fully vegan. Because Newtown is like the coolest place ever, we're just on a bit of a photo shoot with all the graffiti and now we've found a bit of a sunset on this beautiful street. And it's really nice. We're on Camden Street. Are we in London? I think so. So we're just chilling in the hostel. Made a mess. Cute hostel. So we're just waiting for our overnight bus to spot X. So at 11.30 p.m. we get there for 8 a.m. Just changed into my thermal comfy clothes. The weather's been so nice by the end. Yeah, the beaches are gorgeous. The walks are gorgeous. This hostel's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. We I hike this hostel. Sidebar, like, well, we make sidebar. It's probably we good make us. The dance if you go without sidebar, us guys. being there, then it's probably not good. But exactly. If we're there, we'll make the party and it'll be good. So yeah. if you want to go, <laughs> pay for us to come too. <laughs> Ready to go. We've got a backpack on. Go get the overnight bus. <laughs> guys, we're on the road again. Ah! Hey guys, bit of stress. So luckily we left enough time, but we were trying to find our Greyhound bus stop like where to actually go in sydney because it said central station which is quite vague good now we found it this bad boy might be ours this was one of the most expensive parts of our trip so you just buy a greyhound bus pass it meant we could get on as many buses as we wanted to from sydney up to cairns and they're all included within our pass australia is huge so we found that was the best way to get up the coast you just have to book onto the bus like the night before. Sleep quality, questionable. So we're just at a service station and it's 6am and I feel like the walking dead. Kerry's still fast asleep. 
So I'm just, I've just gone out on my own. Me and Carrie were always allocated seats apart, but it didn't really matter. And then we made it to Spot X and we had a two day surf camp. But like we've just been thrust into this surfer world. Got off the night bus, absolutely like, dead and then we arrived and they were like yeah you can go have breakfast with everyone and yeah there's just like loads of people in their little like surf culture vibes and we just had a tour of the place it's really cool i'm really excited bit nervous not gonna lie and we have got this beautiful little four bedroom i think we're the only ones staying in here right now which is kind of nice and we're lucky because we're one of the ones with air conditioning so and now we're gonna get ready because apparently we have a surf lesson in like half an hour so ah! let's go here is my massively stuffed bag. God, I'm gonna try and find what I need without absolutely ruining the jigsaw. <laughs> I don't know how we got ready so quickly. We've sun creamed up. I've done the worst plat and we're gonna head out for our first surf lesson. We look like zombies, Carrie. Yeah, we've got one minute to be there on time. So we're gonna okay. go. Okay, so we just came back from our first surf lesson. Do we look like surfers now? Like, um, how do you think you went? I only stood up twice when the instructor was holding my board for me. I think because I've, I've had one surf lesson in my life, I kind of knew what I was doing a little bit more. It's harder than it looks and it's physically so exhausting. We did it and then we had lunch. It's so nice here because all the meals are included. So like you just, you just rock up for lunch after your surf. It's very, very community feel that like you just sit there and like whoever's around you just kind of chat so our plan now we've got yoga later guys yoga we are living the life so i think we're gonna go to the beach chill out i don't know yet it's really sunny it's it's gorgeous weather dorm tour so kerry is just sorting out her stuff this is our dorm welcome to our crib guys so these two are currently unoccupied and we're hoping they stay that way this is my crib there's my little bag with a big lump of stuff. And here's Kerry and Kerry's bed. We have randomly have a little hob, but with nothing to cook. So that's cool. And we have a little shower unit and a little toilet. So not bad. This is my swimsuit hanging up to dry. So I cleverly didn't bring sunglasses or a hat to the beach, but you know what I did find? A Santa hat. We fell asleep on the beach for about an hour and I woke up to see Kerry's back so raw and red. So I basically slathered sun cream on her back while she was still asleep, but she's such a heavy sleeper that she still didn't wake up. Hey guys. Okay, so change of style, the yoga gear. Uh, Kerry's just putting some sun cream on in the background. We went to the beach as you saw for about an hour and a half and I applied sun cream twice. I topped up twice in that hour and a half. And I'm still really sunburned. All up my legs and my feet. Like how how do you burn the skin of your feet? It is burnt. Um, and my back and my shoulders a little bit. Factor 50. With, with factor 50 plus, the Australian sun is something else. It is so like penetrating and it just burns you instantly. Just come back from yoga and feeling zen. I'm aware that this vlog is probably like, okay, we're going to do this now. Okay, we're back, we've done it. Now we're gonna do this. Okay, back. We're back now. We've done it. <laughs> Just because I can't really bring my phone like places, I can't bring my camera places. But I'm gonna try and get some more shots. I'm gonna bring my phone to dinner. Actually, the yoga was so nice. It was just <laughs> we went to a shaded patch in a caravan site, and like there was a caravan site like milling around us, and we were just there doing yoga. It was actually just like a peaceful moment of calm in the hustle and bustle of everything. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, so we're gonna go go have dinner now. I just put on a t-shirt so that I'm not as cold. Old. My plat is still intact. Just a moment of appreciation for how cool the teepees are. We then went for dinner and by then we kind of had people that we would recognize and sort of hang out with. And we were already forming a bit of a squad, which was cute. All the guys working there go stand on the tables to announce what's for dinner. It's like a funny little tradition. And there were bearded dragons everywhere trying to nab your food. They always had vegan options and we always had enough to eat, which was good. And they also had this creepy alien juice, which was basically just squash, but everyone called it alien juice. <laughs> That evening, we learned some Swedish drinking games, some Irish drinking games, and discovered how dangerous Goon can be. I have almost never played drinking games in my life. I'm just really not very experienced with alcohol at all. But it's literally so much fun and you just bond so quickly. <laughs> yeah, drinking games are dangerous, guys. You end up drinking more than you intend to. We did have such a fun time and this was such a nice bunch of people. This was the start of our squad. Those two guys were also Dutch and I loved that when they would just have a chat, I could actually understand. 
day two. I was so excited for lunch just to hang out with our friends again. And the only area with any kind of service was right next to the food. So it was the only area that anyone had their phones out. Every day lunch was like these nice wraps. You could put in them whatever you wanted, have as many slices of bread as you want. And the secret to a good wrap was grilling it. And then the realities of life. I was down to my last pair of underwear. It was time to do laundry. Right, let's work out how to use these. <laughs> Hello guys, so it's the second day and we're currently just heading to be with our friends again. I just went and got my camera so that I could capture some of this. Hey, my name is Ebba, I'm from Sweden uh, and I love meatballs. Hi, I'm Nick from the Netherlands. I like football. <laughs> oh. Yannick reminds me so much of my uncle. What? <laughs> You're literally like exactly like my uncle. Oh. Like, like your voice is is so similar to like your uncle. Okay, I yeah. never heard that. <laughs> I'm Olivia from Sweden. I like dancing. Can we just appreciate that these guys don't just like dancing? They're sixth in the world, like in the world championships for is it hip hop? Yeah. yeah. There you go. They're gonna demonstrate some of their moves. For us. Oh shit! <laughs> Try it. Hold it up a bit. Now I'm ready to see myself. Okay. Hello, allemaal. Yeah, we sit here now in SpotX. With the dames from Sweden and from uh, England. And uh, that was it. <laughs> that was it. Olivia, are you ready? Yes, she's ready. Ebba and Olivia. Cheerleader over here. Just hanging out our washing. We are on it with the laundry. Hanging up those underwear and socks, yes! Bam. And now we're just gonna go for dinner and it's our last night here. I feel so chilled here, so zen. I think there's something about like the outdoor culture, meeting people, spending like the day with people. So good for you. And I haven't been able to go on my phone, which is probably also good. Bit of a detox. I'm Philip, I'm in the kitchen. I'm Nico, I'm Night Stuff. I'm Marvin, Night Stuff. Federico, Night Stuff. And then we had our last dinner with the squad. We've got some zucchini, nice vegan things. This night I observed the drinking games, I didn't actually play them. It's still so much fun to be at the table. <laughs> And what would you want to say to anyone who's German watching this right now? Ich weiß jetzt nicht genau, was ich sagen soll. Ich will Skoblara eher dance as a prop. Oh! Hello! We can't teach you anything except for your drink. We love the Irish. So these guys are now off. We're getting an overnight bus. Chocolate! God is leaving. Shout out to Daniel and Yannick if you're watching this. Before Yannick and Daniel left, they really wanted to go to the beach one last time. So as our little squad, we just went to the beach with a torch and just walked around and looked at the stars. And I learned some of the constellations. I can always find you at Orion's Belt now. Take me to Australia, I will show you Orion's Belt. And then Kerry and I just got ready for bed. We were heading off the next morning, so it was just kind of packing our stuff. Oh, and also, no one ever stayed in our room. We had a four bed room and it was just us. I don't think anyone wanted to stay with us, to be honest. Sad times. Hey guys, okay, so packing is commencing because tomorrow morning we are off. God, I look so red. Oh, my eyes are bloodshot. Wow. Currently on the top bunk, it was Kerry's turn to be on the bottom. So you know we did the laundry and you know we hung stuff out. Unfortunately, it did not dry. Our room has become a bit of a drying rack. So yeah, I'm hoping that stuff's dry in the morning. My pajamas are not dry. My clothes I was gonna wear on the bus aren't dry. Yeah, worst case, I think I'll just put them in a plastic bag and put, take them on the bus. But we've got to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow, be ready, out of here for 7.30. We've got a bus at eight and then we should get into Yamba for like, 
10 ish yeah that is the plan but i have had such a surprisingly amazing time here for me like the best thing that makes a hostel is always the people like i think you remember the people more than anything else and just the people here were so nice today especially i think we bonded more after the surf lesson we all went down to the beach ate together and stuff for lunch and dinner it's just been really nice so i'm sad to see them all leave i'm sad to leave myself as usual if you want to have more details about this place we've been staying the link is going to be in the description of this video um the place is called mojo surf highly recommend it's got like a kind of a campsite feel and even though it's like basic just the whole vibe and atmosphere of this place is so so friendly like it feels like one big family and the surf lessons were also amazing like i stood up multiple times today so yes good night from pippi longstocking good morning so we're awake yay oh i look oh, awful <laughs> um oh my god i feel ill yeah we're just packing our stuff um our bus comes in like i don't know it comes at eight o'clock Heading to Yamba, which is meant to be really nice. I am equally quite sad to be leaving this place. I don't know, the two days went really quickly. I almost always nearly forgot my charger, so I grabbed my charger this time. We suited up and headed off. Off we go once more. Been waiting at the bus stop for about half an hour, and our bus is like 20 minutes delayed, so. The Greyhound buses have Wi-Fi, they have USB charging cables, and the seats do recline quite well, and there is a toilet, so they are pretty good. Just arrived in Yamba, so now we're gonna work out where our hostel is. We found it. It was a YHA, and Yamba is so off the tourist track. It's like a cute little surfer town, and there's only one hostel in the whole town. It's kind of nice, because then it's even more of like a backpacker, close-knit community. We found a supermarket, and we're on the hunt for goods. So because this is such a small town, they don't actually have like a Coles or a Woolworths, but they have cute little shops like this. We're gonna try and find something to eat. Done our cheeky food shop. I'm feeling ill, but okay. For lunch, we've got some couscous with half an avocado each, fancy, I know. And then for dinner, we are doing some rice with vegetables in a stir fry. We had this cute four bed dorm and it looked like no one was there either, which was kind of nice. Even so, whenever there are lockers in a hostel room, always use them, just make the effort, put your valuables in there. Always make sure you bring some locks of different sizes as well. Some hostels have weird size locks. <laughs> we then hurriedly made our couscous in the kitchen. And though it looks quite nice, the avocado was so unripe. It was like frozen avocado. We then met in reception and embarked on Shane's tour. Picked Yamba as the most livable place in the world, the most livable climate. So what they mean by that, you guys, pretty well every day of the year, you have to put up with this weather, sunshine. As we toured beautiful Yamba, Shane did what Shane's tour does best and it became a bit of a mind game. I can't really tell you that much about it. Yeah, he started introducing some creepy things. So that's the oldest surf club in Australia. <laughs> and there's Whiting Beach in the way. We're currently just doing some tourist stuff, which is really okay, nice because the beaches here are insane. And then we're doing cliff jumping, but not just like cliff jumping for a meter, cliff jumping from like 15 meters. <laughs> what are we doing? I could hardly listen to Shane, I was so scared. I'm basically regretting our life decisions right now. No, don't worry about your life, you'll be fine. <laughs> yes! Ready for you! Cliff jumping! Oh. You ready? So don't look at the camera. Oh, yeah, so, so you don't hit your face. One, two, three! Ah! You! You! <laughs> you! <laughs> you. <laughs> well done. Oh, good. <laughs> Are you ready to be eaten? And then, because we are culinary queens, we attempted the most difficult hostel meal of all, the stir fry. This was literally our dinner so often. We always relied on the hostel to have oil, which there generally always was in the free food section. And then we just poured some tomato sauce in, made some microwavable rice. Hey guys, I'm a bit exhausted. As is Kerry, who has already made her bet even though it's like 6.30. <laughs> 
30 p.m. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, that was just about one of the best tours I think I've done in my entire life. Shane, he is a little bit mad, but like, one of the coolest people ever. I can't tell you what happened on that tour. I can't because what happens on Shane's tour stays on Shane's tour. It was an emotional roller coaster. It was scary. Kind of had no idea what was happening. Yeah, he messed with my brain, but in the best way. And now I'm sat here still trying to process what just happened. We saw so many cool things. We saw like the guy who started Billabong, massive $70 million mansion. Considering his tour is so cheap for tours in Australia. It was only like $20 or something. He he just goes above and beyond. But yeah, as I say, we are shattered now. <laughs> not gonna socialize, not staying up late. We are just gonna sleep and then we're surfing tomorrow. And that's our last day in Yamba. I love Yamba. We've only been here today. It's a hidden gem. Like I almost don't even wanna tell you about Yamba because I wanna keep Yamba a secret. Everyone says Yamba is like by how Byron Bay was 20 years ago before everyone found it. If you come to the East Coast of Australia, don't miss it out. <laughs> Okay, so we just went for a two and a half hour surf lesson with Shane. Shane, the guy who does the tours, who basically runs this place. Shane, crazy Shane, who's just the best guy ever. And he is a miracle worker. Like, oh my God, half an hour with him was just like gold dust. There was only three of us in the lesson and every single run that we did, he would like properly tell you how to improve and just like give you so many little pointers that by the end like i was a completely different surfer to how i was at the start like i was standing up on almost every run i was like going to the shore i was like oh yes confidence it was just amazing i was throwing out the shockers shaka 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 i don't know he's a shaka Oh, uh, Kerry's, Kerry's more of an Australian pro. The Shaka? Shaka? The Shaka? If you're Australian, tell me. I can't wait to get to Byron Bay now because they have free surfboards where we're staying. We can test out our skills. So glad we did the surf camp because it just covered all the basics. Like we learned all the like general rules with him. It was like confidence building, catching waves, like... Standing up more. Standing up more. It was just perfect. I would literally just, I couldn't stop smiling the whole time. Like I was being battered and I was just so happy. I think I've burnt my lip. Look at this gorgeousness. Me? I was talking about this, but you, you too, Kerry. You and your sunburn are gorgeous. So Kerry is gonna get a tattoo. Kerry wants a tattoo like here, like a triangle there. We've been drawing random little triangle designs. Something really simple, classy. It's getting harder, isn't it? Yeah. Anyone walking past will think she's part of the Illuminati, but <laughs> all the triangles. I'm so happy right now. What a way to spend the 30th of December. And we've got a memory stick because this really kind guy on the beach while we were surfing had a camera and Shane is famous here and apparently knows everyone and he was like, hey brother. And this really nice guy just took some photos of us on a really fancy camera for free. So I'm gonna download them now, but how kind. I just feel so happy and reflective and I don't know if it's because it's coming to the end of the year or if I'm just always reflective and deep because apparently that's how I am. But yeah, it's just, it's just so much fun here. So much fun. Bye! <laughs> I think I'm a bit burnt. Ooh! Ooh! guys so no it's not morning we are just having this for dinner this is our dinner we're just using up this because we have loads and we're leaving tomorrow i mean that's not the main reason we're just a bit lazy and it's easy and because we ate out at the nice cafe we're not that hungry so we're just having a quick meal before we hopefully go see some dolphins yeah and I've had the best time here in Yamba ever. Thank you so much, Shane. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you back soon in Yamba. 100%. Woo!